Huh, good deal. Kids are already in class. Henry, do you need a hug? No, I need lunch money. Lunch money? We put $100 in your account last week. That was last week. All right. All right. Love ya. Yep. Love ya. No. I'll take that as he loves me. Okay, so. Good morning, BC Class of 2023. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. One last preview in the week. Let's take a look. First look at back. Start of the week with the first annual cap and gown walk. Great new tradition at BC. It was fantastic to see all the video and pictures from you guys back at your elementary schools. And then this was great. You know, a lot of schools have to deal with senioritis where seniors don't want to come to school anymore. I know it's crazy to think. Uh, but here you guys were 90 minutes before school, ready to go. Um, I, you know, I guess there's a reason why we have the highest ACT scores in the state. On a side note, uh, Will Miller, your fire pit's still in the front of school. If you could pick that up as soon as possible, that'd be fantastic. And then we had Senior Sunset. Great to be together out on the turf. Beautiful night. And then one of my favorite traditions is BC Bike into School. Uh, appreciate the help with of um, Brookfield PD in this endeavor. Just a beautiful morning. I think we had as many bikers as ever. So uh, thank you to all that dusted off the old Huffy and got outside. And then this was great. I know a lot of you just wanted to leave to get going on for, you know, preparing for graduation, but you stuck around to say goodbye uh, to the underclassmen. And I know they were absolutely touched that you thought of them. So uh, thank you much for that. You know, just a few things that I'd like you to consider. And I'm going to start with what I think is maybe the most important thing. I know a lot of things are going to be say, said today. So I'm going to start with my most important thing. So, you know, you will come up against challenges. And that advice comes from my heart. And I hope that it resonates with you. It's guided me throughout my life. So some things to consider. Uh, well, Getting ahead of myself here. First senior send-off is tonight, 9 p.m. to 1 a.m., $35 cash at the door. So some things to consider uh, as you, you venture out with your clean slate, because right now everyone has a clean slate, is first and foremost, showing up and being present. Take a look at these graphics. Top one is for college. Bottom one is work. Yellow is the time you're in class at work. Blue is free time. So lots of free time. Now remember, you won't receive attendance emails or 10-day letters. And if you don't attend, remember, uh, life doesn't wait for you to be at 100%. So you got to get up every morning, keep pushing through it, and remember to be the hammer, not the nail. You know, and our world is full of a lot of distractions. It's important to live in the moment. Occasionally, uh, occasionally students will say, you know, I'm going to go to this school for a year, then I'm going to transfer here. You know, I get that. But to, it's important to give that next step 100% of your time, effort, and commitment. And remember the profound words of Colonel Sherman T. Potter. If you ain't where you are, you're nowhere. You know, and it's important to have a career, a career that provides for you and your family financially, but that not that should not define you as a person. And as I grow older, I reflect more and more on family and friends that have passed on. And I think about their impact and importance that they've had on my growth. The characteristics of honesty, integrity, hardworking, courage, self-awareness, wholeheartedness are things that if you possess will help you to lead to success in work but more importantly, in the life that you built. As parents, we love to attend your events. And the first thing we do in an event is to find where you are in the crowd or the stage or on the court. Pretty likely that they found you as you walked in and many are probably looking at you right now. As parents, 
Our number one goal is to make sure that you are safe. And as you venture off to your next step in life, we know that you'll be in very new and unfamiliar environments. Be sure to always have friends with you that will watch out for you and you will watch out for them. Just like driving, always leave yourself an out. And remember, if you ever get in a jam or unsure what to do, just call us, no matter what time it is. We will always be there to help you through it. Class of 2023, remember each day is a gift. Cherish your relationships. Be the same person online that you are in person. Don't spend too much time online. Don't quit a job before you have your next job and choose your friends wisely. There's an old adage, you're the average of the five people you spend the most of the time with. It is more important than ever to surround yourself with good people people who bring out the best in you, and you in return will help them be their best. People who care for you and that you in turn will care for. People who do the right thing and will help you do the right thing. And remember, nothing good happens after midnight. And use the words from my childhood minister to guide you as you start your next chapter in life. He ended each of his services with the following. Go forth in the world in peace, be of good courage, hold fast to which is good, render unto no one evil for evil, strengthen the faint-hearted, support the weak, help the afflicted, honor everyone. Here's a picture from the first time we met. That's freshman year orientation. And I think about what you did to get to this point. Very, very proud of you. And remember, for one last time, search the world for the positives and never, never miss a chance to say thank you. Be well, be kind, be safe. Take care of yourself, BC Class of 2023.